How tall will a tree grow? As tall as it possibly can. You never heard of a tree growing half as high as it could. No, no, that is impossible. A tree grows as high as it can, drives down every root it can, produces every leaf it can, extends itself as far as it possibly can. Every life form extends to the max, except human beings. Now, why not human beings? Because we're not robots. We've been given the dignity of choice. And here's a couple of alternatives on the dignity of choice. To be part of or all of, you have the potential to be. And you got the choice. Do a little to make yourself comfortable and forget the rest, or do it all. Do not doubt your own ability. Don't doubt your ability to change. Don't doubt your ability to grow. Don't doubt your ability to take command. Don't doubt your ability to learn all the skills. Whatever you want, I'm telling you it's all possible. Make this note. None of us lack the capacity. We have far more capacity than we have time to take advantage of. I do read a record where it says all that time ago, some people lived to be 700 years, 800 years, 900 years old. I feel a little short changed when I only had the chance maybe to live 70, 80, 90, 100 years. When all that time ago, the record says some lived to be 700, 800, 900 years. It seems like it would take seven or eight or 900 years to tap the full extent of our capacity, let alone 70, 80, 90, 100 years. But here's what I'm asking you to do. Get busy. You've got more brain power than you've used so far. You've got more potential than you've used so far. You've got more strength than you've possibly used so far. No telling how many languages you can learn. No telling how far you can go. No telling how strong you can get until you get busy working on yourself and see if you can't tap all of your full potential. Success is not something you pursue, chase, run after. Success is something you develop, something you become, you attract success. So the whole key to unlock all the treasures, whether it's economic treasures or spiritual treasures, financial, social, personal, every way you can possibly think of, is by your own personal development. And then he added one more, which is so important, and it's probably worth the price of the seminar. Here it is. What you become is much more valuable than what you get. What you become is much more valuable than what you get. The major question to ask on the job is not what am I getting here. The major question to ask on the job is what am I becoming here? Not what am I getting, what am I becoming? So it's very important what you become. Because what you become attracts. If you become cynical, you attract cynicism. What you become attracts. So this whole subject of personal development was so vitally important to me. It changed my life. You say, well, what can I do about the upcoming winters of my life? The challenges that I know I'm going to face. Here's what you can do. You can get wiser and stronger and better. Just make a list of that trio of words. Wiser, stronger, and better. Go home smarter than you came. Go home with more ideas than you came with. Get stronger. You can develop the muscle. You can develop the courage muscle. You can develop the inspiration muscle. You can develop the dedication muscle. You can get stronger. There isn't anybody here that can't get stronger. Next time we see you, may not even recognize you. How strong you're going to be able to become in language, in style, in personality. The ability to cope, the ability to handle with anything that happens, no matter what happens. And the third one is get better. We can all get better. I've gotten better. First talk I gave, I stood up. My mind sat back down. But here's the secret to my success. I stood up and did it again. I stood up and I did it again. And I did it again and I did it again all those many years ago. I did it when I was scared and I did it when I didn't want to and I did it when I was ill. And I did it when it didn't work well and I didn't did it when they didn't appreciate it. And I didn't a lot of times when I didn't know much what I was doing. I just did it anyway. And now all these years later, I'm asked to walk on this stage with the greatest introduction I've ever had, greatest response and welcome I've ever had, 
the greatest opportunity I've ever had to touch this many lives with a mixture of words and heart and soul. I got better. I got better day by day and week by week and month by month. And I'm asking you to do the same thing until you can develop a long arm and a long reach, until you can develop influence that won't quit. Touch people next year you couldn't touch this year. Touch people now you couldn't touch before. Conduct a meeting now you couldn't conduct before. Heart and soul now mixed in there that wasn't there, missing before. I'm asking all of you to get better in spite of the winters, in spite of the downturn, the money downturn, the social downturn, the personal downturn, whatever it is. Just get stronger, get better. You know, we put some of the valuable things on the high shelf, so you can't get to them until you qualify. If you want the things on the higher shelf, you've got to stand on the books you read. Every book you read, you get to stand a little higher so you can get the things on the higher shelf. See, I learned those concepts. It was so incredible. Do something different the next 90 days than you did the last 90 days, like picking up the books to read. Do something different like the new health disciplines, relationship with your family, whatever it is, doesn't matter how small it is. If you'll start doing different things with the same circumstances, since we cannot change the circumstances, but we can change ourselves. We can change what we do. And then he gave me another secret to success when he said, what you have at the moment, Mr. Rohn, you've attracted by the person you've become. What you have at the moment, you've attracted by the person you've become. Few little simple principles here. Once you understand these, it starts to explain so much. Now, sometimes it's a little tough to take blaming yourself instead of the marketplace, taking responsibility instead of putting it off on someone else. Those, that transition sometimes is a challenging mission. And this one was a little tough for me. She said, here's the secret, Mr. Rohn, learn to work harder on yourself than you do on your job. Once I got that, it turned my life around. Learn to work harder on yourself than you do on your job. He said, if you work hard on your job, you'll make a living. If you work hard on yourself, you can make a fortune. If you would have known me at age 25, you would have said, Jim Rohn's a hard worker. If you'd have known me, you'd have said that. I'm the guy, I don't mind coming a little bit early, staying a little bit late, I don't mind that. You'd have said, well, Jim Rohn's a hard worker. You'd say, well, how come he's got pennies in his pocket and nothing in the bank and behind on his promises? Well, I was a hard worker, but I was working hard on my job, not on my self. I'm telling you, if you'll learn that simple little principle and start the process today, latest tomorrow, I'll give you tonight to think it over. <laughs> and start this whole process of personal development, work on yourself, make yourself more valuable to the marketplace. I'm telling you, you can so dynamically change your income and economics is the least of the values that you can start earning in terms of equity. If you'll start working harder on yourself than you do on your job, work hard on yourself and develop the graces all of the stuff necessary to become more valuable to the marketplace. I'm telling you, your whole life can explode into change. Promotions, no problem. Becoming more valuable to the company, I'm telling you, no problem. Money, no problem. Economics, no problem. Future, no problem. If you just go to work on the right thing, not get things out there to change. Don't try to change the seed. Don't change the soil. Don't change the sunshine. Don't change the rain. Don't change the mix of seasons. Let the miracle of everything that's available work for you and start working on the inside. Work on your philosophy, work on your attitude, work on your personality, work on your language, work on the gift of communication, work on all of your abilities. And if you'll start making those personal changes, I'm telling you, everything will change for you. Don't doubt the future. Don't doubt the possibilities. Don't doubt the extraordinary gifts that your distributors bring to your organization. Don't doubt that. And here's the most important one of all. Don't doubt yourself. If I've got miracle working power to change my life, so do you. If I've got the ability to change, so do you. If I've got the ability to read, so do you. If I can discover, so can you. If I can grow, you can grow. If I can develop, you can develop. If I can get an invitation like I got six years ago, help take something around the world, so can you. If I can stand on this platform, Idaho farm boy raising obscurity, so can you. If the millionaire team can do it, president's team can do it, 
Walk off with the diamonds, the trophies, so can you. I'm asking you, don't sell yourself short. Forget the thief in the alley that's after your purse. What about the thief in your mind that's after your promise? The thief in your mind that says you're too short. The thief in your mind that says you're too tall. The thief in your mind that says, well, yes, it'll happen to people out in California, but it can't happen way over here on this side of the world. I'm asking you to conquer that thief, even though you find him in your own consciousness. I want to reassure you that you can do it. I want you to reassure you that you can make the decisions. I want to reassure you that no matter what the night, no matter what the storm, no matter what the difficulty, there isn't anybody here that can't figure it out, find some things to do, step at a time, yes. Minute at a time, yes. Day at a time, yes. Week at a time, yes. But there isn't anything you can't walk away from. There isn't any challenge you can't overcome. I want you to have that kind of belief in yourself. A person who has purpose in their life, they have something to go for, some meaning. One writer described it, for some people it becomes a magnificent obsession. And for you and I, maybe it doesn't need to be that dramatic as a magnificent obsession. But it has to be something that does something to us, something that pulls us, especially into the future. You know, there are many influences on us. One is the influence of the past. Some people are always pulled back, back, back by the past. Some people are always pulled aside by the distractions, the distractions. But here's what's powerful. If you have a list of high purpose in your life, it pulls you toward the future. And the more powerful the purpose is, the stronger it pulls. And here's the other great advantage if you have purpose for the future. It pulls you through all kinds of challenges and all kinds of difficulties. If you don't have these strong purposes for the future, it's easy to get swallowed by a bad day. It's easy to be almost annihilated by a poor month. And it's easy sometimes to almost disappear beneath the waves of a, a year that goes backwards if you don't have something to pull you beyond that year. So if you want something to pull you through all kinds of challenges, all kinds of difficulties and things that come at you, you got to have something on out there beyond today, beyond next week, beyond next month, beyond this year that pulls you into the future. And the clearer it is, the stronger it pulls. The more, the more dynamic it is, the more it affects your life, your spirit, your heart, your soul. It also creates imagination. It gets your mind working on how to achieve that purpose. And if your mind will work, and if your heart works, and if your spirit works, and if you have good input, like good ideas, I'm telling you, there isn't anything you can't accomplish. So that's one of the great powers that'll make a variable of you, and that is purpose. I want you to ponder these four questions. Here's the first one, and that's why. Why pay the price? Why work this hard? Why go this far? Why try to learn this much? Why try to do it all? Why try to see it all? Why try to have it all? Why do it? Why learn it? Why study? Why put yourself out? Why try to take on this much responsibility? Why develop yourself to the full? Why try to become all that you can possibly become? Why try to earn as much as you can earn, share as much as you can share, develop every skill you possibly can, see every human you possibly can, go to every class you possibly can, touch everybody you possibly can, why do that much? Why go that far? Why share that much? Why give that much away? Why try to see everything? Why try to do everything? Why try to become everything? That's a good question, why? And you're the only one personally that can answer that question for yourself. You've got to have your own list of whys. Work on your list of whys. One of the big thrusts for success is to come up with a strong enough why. If the why is powerful, the how is easy. But if the why isn't strong, if your goals aren't powerful, 
If the vision isn't clear, the old prophet said, without a vision, we die. Without a vision, we perish. Without a dream, we're nothing. I'm asking you to sit down with your family and develop a dream strategy. I'm asking you to make a list of what you, what you want. What kind of health do you want? What kind of skills do you want? What kind of income do you want? What kind of gifts do you wish to bestow? What kind of power would you like to have? What kind of influence would you like to have? I'm asking you to go home and work on the why. Spend some time as you fly over the clouds and over the ocean back to where you came from. I'm asking you to have a vision by the time you've reached home of why, why you want this kind of income, why you want this kind of recognition and these kinds of skills. I'm asking you to develop your own list of why. Now here's number two. The first question to ponder when you go home is why. Here's another good answer to why. It's the second question, why not? Why not see how much you can earn? Why not see how much you can learn? Why not see how many skills you can develop? Why not see what kind of person you can become? Why not see what kind of influence you can have? Why not see how many people you can rescue from oblivion? Why not see how many people you can reach? I want you to establish some of your goals. I want you to give thoughtful consideration to your goals. And why not? If we've got good health for many, why not the rest? If it's happened for you, why not others? And why not you? I want you to take that personal. Why not? Why not? You've got to stay here till you go. I mean, what else are you gonna do? Why not see how much you can do, how far you can go? Now here's number three. Why not you? I wish I could say that to each of you individually, but it would take a couple of lifetimes to sit down and talk with each of you individually. But I would rather do that. I'd love to spend a couple of days with each of you personally and pour out my heart, my soul, what's going on in my head, what's going on with me, see if we couldn't connect and find something valuable. But time doesn't permit for us to have those intimate conversations and get to know each other that well. So I've got to do it from up here. But I want you to take it personal. And my personal question to you is why not you? You've got the brains. You can make decisions. You can study the plan. You can change your life. You can grow immensely in the next few years. You can make your dreams come true. You can build a financial wall around your family. Nothing can get through. You can become healthy. You can become powerful. Why not you? And now here's my last question. My very last question on the questions to ponder is why not now? This is a good time as the 20th century starts to wind down a few more years as we get ready for century 21. What a good time to set your goals, work on yourself, work on your skills. What a good time to get it together. What a good time to start this process personal development, growing, changing, developing, having a good plan for your money and for your life and for your future. Why not now? And I hope I have a chance to see you one of these days and share with you the experience, the reaction, the response you might have had from my message today. And until I get a chance to see you on this side of the world or the other side of the world, in some school or some seminar, or maybe I'll come and speak for a company that you work for someday, I hope I get a chance to meet you. Until then, I wish you the best. I want all that I've gotten to be yours and much, much more. God bless. Goodbye.